Chris Stewart once again for BamaFever.com following Alabama's NIT opening round victory over Coastal Carolina. The Crimson Tide took care of business early and did some great things tonight. I, I'm starting off with a crowd, 5,116, well below the sellout crowd numbers that we've been seeing here. But the athletic department did something very creative with spring break going on, realizing full well that the numbers would be nowhere close to a sellout. They gave the season ticket holders the opportunity to buy their courtside seats or reserve them and, and make the purchase, I think up until about uh, noon on Tuesday. And then everything else was opened up as general admission. So yeah, people have got a chance to sit close that may not have done that before for an Alabama men's basketball game. And they took advantage of that with it being an NCAA owned event. There are no free tickets for this. You have to pay for every ticket in Alabama and I thought a great crowd, 5,116 paid attendance to see this team win for the 22nd time this year. That's the first thing, the number of people that were there. Now they were treated to a great effort as the Crimson Tide had uh, three players with 12 points. Scenario Hillman, I thought, was uh, sensational. He was not one of those three, but he had 11 points. He had seven rebounds in the contest. He also had two assists and two steals in 25 minutes work. And it was great to see that senior from Irwinton, Georgia, have success and be able to uh, help lead Alabama to this victory. One of the toughest things to do for a, for a top seed in this tournament is to get motivated to play because they're always, it seems, the first four left out of the NCAA tournament field, Alabama falling into that category. And they didn't come down hanging their heads. They didn't come in uh, mad or disappointed that they didn't get into the NCAA. Instead, they came out focused, took care of business, took it to Coastal Carolina early and often and led by as much as 30 points with three minutes to go before ultimately winning it by that 68-44 final. As this is being taped, we don't know yet who Alabama will play or when. We know it's going to be one of two teams, either New Mexico or UTEP, and it will take place, that second round game will take place here at Coleman Coliseum anywhere from Friday to Monday night. But uh, when that time comes, Alabama will be ready. Should be another great game, hoping for another good effort and hoping for Alabama's 18th straight win here at Coleman Coliseum this year. That's going to do it for now, though. I'm Chris Stewart for BamaFever.com.